Hi, I'm Shannon McGee with Network in Action uh, in Music City, Tennessee. Uh, today, I am with Kayla Curry with Organization Impact. Good morning, Kayla. How are you? Hey, good morning, Shannon. Great to be with you today. Thank you for joining me. So, so tell me, you know, share with us why you started your company. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's my baby, right? Isn't that, that's probably how everybody feels about, about their business and their world. Um, Organization Impact was started in 2006 um, from a college dream, believe it or not. Um, I had the opportunity to do an internship with a consulting firm, much like mine, uh, back in college and I got bit. Um, to be able to see that light bulb come on inside an organization and, and to see real growth and movement on the people side of the business. So fast forward, 2006, um, after several years of industry experience in a lot of different companies, um, it really began um, just to underscore again the need and the goal that I had for this business. I uh, threw over, gosh, 15 years I had worked in several different industries and regardless of the industry, you always found common issues and it was usually on the people side and it was a disconnect of leaders at the top feeling and, and truly believing this is what our culture is like. This is what our strength is in the organization on the people side. And then when you talk to the employees, you know, throughout every level of the organization, they said, that's not really what it feels like to work here. And so it was that disconnect. And so that really was that moment, right? Where I said, it's time to put that shingle out there and be a resource to organizations. And so that's really where it started. And so we've been around now for 16 years, almost 16 years. And what we do hasn't changed, which is pretty phenomenal. How we do it has in a lot of ways, right? There, you know, leaders and teams need, need those skills and those core sets, core skills of what they do and how do we do it well. And those are principles. So they just look different depending on what the organization is or maybe the industry that they're in. Everybody needs help, like we get stuck or we need a game plan and a sounding board and that's how the coaching helps. And and, and often, oftentimes for businesses, they don't have a resource that can take on some of those projects around talent development to, to just go ahead and work the, work the kinks out and give them a plan. And so that's where the consulting piece comes into play. So I love what I do. I, I get to meet people from all over the country and in a lot of different industries. And you find some nuance that, that they have found that works so well that we're able to share with our other clients. So I love it. That's great. You know, you know speaking of changing the way we do things and people, you know, everybody has been impacted from the pandemic in one way or another. So tell us how it's, you know, impacting, you know, your business or your clients businesses, because I really do think at the core of it, as you said, is the people are feeling the greatest change during these times. They absolutely are, uh, you know, and, and in reality, the pandemic has shifted so many aspects of how we do what we do. And in organizational life, it has really impacted the culture that an organization has. And so one of the biggest impacts that I have found from my clients, as well as even, you know, with my colleagues, right, is really, really honing in to determine how do you create a strong culture if we're not physically together anymore. And, and some organizations have been some form of virtual for a long time, but a lot of companies have not. So how do you create that connectedness? How do you, you know, how do you define the leadership skill that's needed? When I see you, I actually see your face every day to now we see each other on Zoom. That's a, that's a different energy, that's a different dynamic. So how do you coach? How do you lead your team? How do you, um, how do you hold them accountable if you have to have that tough conversation? And then how do you keep your entire team connected? So you got you have that cohesiveness and that's that's the stickiness right around team cultures. So a lot of work has, has gone virtual, which is very doable. It's just recalibrating how we do what we do around uh, whether it's it's a skill development component or whether it's it's actually let's let's role play this. How are you going to do this with with your teammate? So that's what I'm finding and in a surprising way. Many of my clients have, have discovered before the pandemic, we never thought we could have done X. 
in, in a virtual way or in a completely different way, but we did because we had to. And so now we're taking that mindset to say, if, if you don't have to now, what do you learn? What did you learn from that experience? And what does that mean for your culture going forward? And there's a lot of work to be done there. there there's, uh, there's some strategy work. Uh, there's absolutely some equipping and skill, skill building that has to happen. And there's a monitoring piece to that. You know, like we, we've done these things, how do we know it's working? And, and how, do we, how do we keep the right kind of guardrails in place to, to make sure we can tweak and change and adapt. Um, so much of the work that I'm doing now is strategy, right? People are saying, what's our culture gonna look like in 2022? Um, and that's exciting, but it's, uh, it's some hard work at times as well. But um, I, think it's, I think it's here to stay, right? I mean, Absolutely. It, it might not be a, a shutdown like we experienced in 2020, but some version of that is now a part of how we have to think. So I, I, th I think it's real. And, and a, a lot of times a, a company needs to get outside of itself for a moment and they need someone that doesn't live there every day to ask the questions um, that we sometimes inside our world never even think to ask. So it's, uh, it's, it's an exciting time. It is still a time of uncertainty, but that creates opportunity. Kayla, I love your passion for people. I, it's it, it it comes through in everything you're saying and i can definitely see what a benefit it would be for companies to work with you so so if they want to get a hold of you what's the best way to reach you oh thank you shannon uh, and i would love to meet i would love to meet folks just to uh, i'm a relationship builder naturally um and so I, I want that opportunity so the best way for people to reach me uh two ways one absolutely reach out via phone love a text or a phone call from you uh, and that number is 615-424-4766 or via email is also a great way to to find me and that's kayla at organizationimpact.com that's wonderful thank you so much kayla i enjoyed talking to you have a great wonderful day Thank you so much. I enjoyed it.